Hello and welcome to day three of our Restore Your Core Yoga Challenge. We'll move a little quicker today, so let's start right in tabletop. Setting up your foundation, inviting your ribs up into your spine, stacking your joints and pressing away from the mat. And then breathe in as you start to draw the shoulder blades together, tilt your pelvis forward and gaze upward. And breathe out as you round your spine, draw the belly button up towards you, towards your spine. Back and forth, inhale, open, and exhale, round. And keep moving like that on your own breath, really noticing every movement of your spine, noticing on the exhale how your pelvic floor draws in, the abdominals draw in. making this as fluid as you can. And then on your next exhale, a neutral spine. Adding on to what we did yesterday, extend your left leg back behind you with the toe down or the toe lifted, you choose, yogi's choice. And then right arm maybe extends out. Good, find your stability here, square your hips, breathe in and lengthen now. Option to draw your elbow to your knee as you breathe out, rounding your spine, drawing the belly button up. And then inhale, stretch back out with control. Beautiful, again, exhale, draw in. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, extend, and exhale. Set everything down and let's set up the other side. Right toe back. Remember, you can always come up on your fists if this is intense on your wrist joint. Okay, maybe you lift that back leg, maybe you don't. Square the hips the best you can. Draw the low abdomen in and then maybe extend your left arm out. Breathe in. Breathe out as you draw knee to elbow, rounding, drawing the belly up. Inhale, extend out and exhale, draw in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw in. And last time, breathe in and breathe out. Everything sets down. Walk your hands forward just a little bit into a knee down plank. So our knee down plank should look something like this. The hips shouldn't be too droopy and they also shouldn't be elevated too much. So just like a long plank, a diagonal plank right there, press away from the mat. All we're going to do here is keep the pelvis and spine stable as we lift one arm and breathe. Notice what has to turn on to stabilize you. And then let's shift on over to the other side and breathe. Okay, now you can do this again, or if that's easy peasy for you, tuck your toes, Press up to a high plank, press away from the mat, and do the same thing up in this high plank. So you can lift an arm, stabilize, woo, <laughs> and then switch. Now this is also something you can work up towards if it's too much right now, because this can be a little intense. I'm shaking, lower down, and take a few deep breaths. I need them for sure. Notice how it feels so good to rest for a moment. Okay, we're gonna do a variation of locust. So extend both of your arms out by your ears with lots of space. And your toes are pointed and there's lots of space between your feet. We're going to lift opposite arms and legs. So right arm comes up, left leg. So let's try that, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Beautiful, alternate. Inhale, left arm, right leg lifts, and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale. Let's do one more each side. Breathe in, breathe out. Really think length instead of height. So reach forward and kick back, breathe in, breathe out. And let's do everything all together. Lift up, 
draw the pit of your abdomen in and breathe. And on your next exhale, a slow release down. You can rest one ear down on the mat. Notice your heartbeat. And let your hips gently shift side to side, releasing your low back. From here, palms plant, plant under your shoulders. Press on up to hands and knees. And we'll stand up on our knees like this. Moving into a low lunge. You can use blocks for support if you like. Right foot steps in front of you. And then let's take our hands to our heart. Think of lengthening the tailbone down and drawing the low abdomen in and up and then shift your hips forward with that engagement. Lifting the heart, good. Low lunge, just breathe with a lifted heart. And then tilt forward with a long spine and twist to the right. Now, normally, not normally, but in a lot of yoga classes, you'll see um, or you'll hear your instructor to hook the elbow on the outside of the knee for a deeper twist. For today's purposes, I just want you to hold an active twist without using the traction of the knee. So you can even stay a little lifted as you breathe. Let the breath travel through your whole torso. Good, and then come back through center, stay low. Hands come down to frame the front foot. Tuck the back toe, lift the knee, and then plant the back foot for warrior one. So it's at a slight angle. Once you feel stable, we'll use our lower body strength and control to rise all the way up. Lots of space between your arms, lifting the heart, breathing. And that same idea of slightly lengthening the tailbone down, drawing the low abdomen in, but without doing this, right? Good. Now, let's all take our hands to our hips. And from here, feel the sensation of zipping up the pants and hinge forward. Good, you don't have to go super low. Keep a long spine, shoulder blades drawn together behind your back and that awareness of your core engagement. And then option to reach your arms out by your ears and breathe. Good. Now we'll flow this. So inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Last time, breathe in and breathe out. Hands come down to frame the front foot. So you're in this low lunge. Release your back knee down. And then we'll step back and set up for the other side. Standing up on your knees and then stepping the left foot in front of you. Feel free to use a wall, a chair, anything like that. Uh, we'll start by bringing our hands to our heart once we are stable, centered, and then lengthen the tailbone down, draw the low abdomen in, and with that engagement, shift your hips forward just a little bit. Let's hold for a couple of breaths, in and out the nose. And then hinge forward with that long spine and twist actively to the left. And you can press your palms into one another. I want you to think of that drawing in action as you twist and then let the breath travel all the way up. Come back through center. Release your hands down to frame the front foot. Tuck the back toe and lift the knee and then plant that back foot for warrior one. And we can rise on up with lots of space when you're ready. Please take your time, pinkies in, lifted heart. And we'll all meet with hands on our hips to start. Drawing the low abdomen in, lengthening the tailbone down. Good. And then hinging forward, feeling that action of zipping up the pants. Breathing option to reach your arms out if that doesn't bother your back. And let's flow this. Inhale as you rise, lift the heart, and exhale as you hinge forward with that nice long spine and core control. Inhale as you rise, 
and exhale as you hinge forward. Last time, breathe in and lift. Breathe out, hands come down to frame the foot. Step back, and then we'll bring our feet around in front of us to sit for a seated Shavasana. Please take a few deep breaths here. Just noticing how it feels to be still after all that movement and work. And maybe feeling a moment of gratitude towards yourself for doing this wonderful thing for your body and mind, for committing your time, your energy. And thank you for joining me today. And I'll see you tomorrow for day four.